Anything else, love? Mm. No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Excuse me, but could you please chew with your mouth closed? <laughs> I have officially lost my appetite. And I'm officially grateful. Alex, Zoe, tonight is it. The big reenactment of the signing of the Bill of Rights. You have memorized your lines, yes? Yes, Iggy, we know our lines. Because this performance is the climax of our historic celebration. And we must have perfection. Don't memorize what I say. Memorize the script. We, we have. have. Okay, okay. Oh, boy, actor so temperamental. Who's a new beacon town? Don't I. Bit of an odd duck, eh, mate? Iggy, about the menu for tonight. Poached pears, papaya puffs and fat-free muffins? It's a bit too la -di da don't you think? So, we're thinking of serving pancakes. Now, last year... Do not unfavorably compare me with Kabubu and the pancake picnic in the park he hosted last year. That picnic rocked, eh? Yes, but this year is my turn to throw the party and I want it to be extra fancy, schmancy, formal and dignified. No pancakes! It's your show, mate. As we celebrate this day in our history, the moment in time when we became civilized, I say we put pancake picnics in the past and embrace the pomp and circumstance and fat-free muffins of the future. <laughs> Not everyone became civilized. <laughs> Pancake! Can't they learn some manners? Maybe not. I mean, face it, they're just animals. What do you mean, just animals? We are all of the species of the animal class, you included. Yeah, but we're evolved. We're humans. The most advanced species on the planet. We'd never act like hogs. Heidi, tidy. Iggy, if you want tonight's celebration to be a high-class event, don't invite the hogs. Yeah, they'll ruin it. Look at me, Gav. <laughs> 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 Why, shouldn't be making sport of us? Acting like you're better and such? Hurting our feelings, that's what! Whitey ah! toity you mock and poke fun! You think you're better than everyone! But will you be laughing when you still have that grin? Once I call forth your animal within! <laughs> Didn't leave me a tip. Alex? You okay? <laughs> Zoe? <laughs> Nobody's home in her chunky head. Me, Iggy. You, Zoe. <laughs> that bird just hoity toityed Alex and Zoe back to the Stone Age. But why? No doubt to ruin my party. Bad stink bugs, bad. Get down. <laughs> 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 From there this instant. Whoa. Ah. This is messed up in a very special way. Don't I know it? Alex and Zoe cannot perform tonight. Oh. Oh. Just because they got primated? Then what are the stinks gonna do? In their present state, I think they're going to spend a night baying at the moon. Ain't right to let them get left out of the party just because some bird threw a hex on them. Harry and I will learn them a skip. And we'll learn them how to talk proper like and be fine upstanding animals like we hogs. Get back here! You can't run from schooling! Wait! We run from schooling when we were wee little piggies, and that's why we know not to. Aren't we going in? I'm hungry. When customers run screaming like wild animals from a restaurant, you do not want to eat there. Good point. 
So the toucan said, Alex and Zoe thought they were better than everyone. Then he cast a spell and, and turned them into wild things. Why would he do that? Well, they were making fun of Harry and Horrible. Ah, uh, there's your problem. You should never make fun of others. But that doesn't seem like a good enough reason to call forth the animal within. Alex and Zoe did say something about humans being better. <laughs> the most advanced species on the planet. I beg to differ. So did that toucan. I think Alex and Zoe were joking, but... Well, the next thing you know, hoity-toity. Hoity-toity means acting snobby and believing you're better in comparison to others. Oh, Alex and Zoe were a little hoity-toity. Says here the hoity-toity toucans were ostracized by the other creatures of their land. Ostrich eyes? Ostracized. It means to be excluded. All the other animals snubbed and ignored the toucans. So he understands what it's like to be looked down on. We're all equals here. Maybe that's why he came to Animalia to find a place of equality. The hoity-toity has the magical ability to cast spells on snobs to teach them a lesson. Long ago, a hoity-toity toucan visited Animalia and cast a spell on a very snooty snob. Peter Applebottom! <laughs> well, he was snooty, all right. Booga! Booga! Core. Fu? Livingston? Alex? Zoe! That's a little human girl. Like you, Zoe. <laughs> Tell me there's a way to break the spell. There is. Is the hoity-toity toucan still around? I think he flew off. Why? Because only he can undo his spell. And if the spell isn't broken by midnight tonight, Alex and Zoe will stay wild forever! That's not the way to treat a library book. There you is, you prehistoric bibbers. Come along with Professor Arian Orville. We's gonna educate you. <laughs> 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 With any luck, we'll find the hoity-toity toucan and get him to break the spell. What if you won't do it? Don't even think about it. It looks as clean as a whistle. Oh, Mr. Deguana, when you hired me to tidy up and decorate for the big party, I spared no expense to you. Cervantes! Enough tidying already! Inside, we'll display lavish arrangements of exotic flowers. Fuchsia? It's a rose. Exquisite, isn't it? A reasonable price for roses? Uh, that's the price for one rose. Cervantes! <laughs> My ridiculously ritzy rose! <laughs> ah! Please, not now. I'm in a meeting. Black! Well, don't worry, Iggy. We'll civilize them. By tonight, you won't even recognize them. I don't recognize them now. What game are those stink bugs playing? It is no game. They became uncouth, primitive peoples, all because a hoity-toity toucan put the whammy on them. Hoity-toity what? Toucan! If I wasn't fearful that the bird might still be around, I'd have a few choice put-downs I'd like to use. Fuchsia, jot this down. Do not make the put-downs or the highly insulting and cutting remarks while the hoity-toity toucan remains at large. He flew out of the eatery and over this way. Kabubu, is that him? Bongo, it is! He's flying toward the swamp. Perfectly placed roses. Mm, I'm thinking the flowery focal point should be there. <laughs> oh, Iggy, you have no eye for design. You are an unsophisticated, inelegant... Hoity doity Ingenious iguana. What vision, what flair. The florals go there. Now... Until the hoity-toity toucan is no longer a threat, I, along with my razor-sharp tongue and biting wit, am going into hiding. Fuchsia, to the bunker. Bunker? Lesson one. Words to use in proper society. The word for food is grub. Say grub. Grub. Good for one of you. Hold the lesson a tick. Breakfast is backing up on me. <laughs> 
right, stinkers. The word for belly gas activity is... <coughs> the word for gov is gov. Gov. Oog. Oog. Now we're talking. Good job, Hobble. Uh -oh. Let's graduate them up to lesson two, Harry. Sentences. All right. That's a beauty, isn't it? Say it. That's a beauty, isn't it? Ha blah blah blah. <coughs> That's a beauty, isn't it? That's a booty, isn't it? Out of way, jungle bug! Now, what if at the fancy party you make a boo boo or a social fox paw? You bow and say to the offended party, Pardon me, your maggot stray! Pardon, Pardon me, me, your my maggot, maggot stray! Tree. Talking's overrated. Let's send him a ballroom dance. Magnificent! Fat-free muffins! More like taste-free muffins. When you are living the classy life, the food does not need to be edible as long as it looks incredible. We brought pancakes, just in case. No pancakes! Well, the joint's looking pretty good, Iguana. Guess I should call you Mr. Swanky. Oh, I hope not. Let's just rehearse. You have your song memorized for tonight? Celebrating! 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 The Animalian Feel of Brats! That is not the song I hired you to sing! It's the song I sung last year at the Pancake Picnic! I do not want my formal event compared to last year's Pancake Picnic in the Park! I don't want to sing your song! It's a highfalutin snoozer! If you do not sing my snoozer song, I will hold my breath and turn many disgusting colors! <sighs> Don't you faint, cause I ain't putting no mouth-to-mouth -mouth regurgitation on your lizard lips. <sighs> Sing my song or you will not be the star of tonight's show. <clears throat> Fine. Bill of Rights, Bill of Rights, Bill of Rights, we are signing. Celebrate. Beautiful song, Iggy. Classy and classical. Composition by yours truly to rival any song formerly sung at the pancake picnic in the park. That reminds me. Iggy, no one's comparing your party with last year's pancake picnic except you. They're different, and when all said and done, they'll come out equal. Mmm, the pancakes smell delicious. It is a shame to dump them. Alex and Zoe thought they were better than Ari and Orable, and look what happened to them. Yes, thank you for your advice, Rini. I will dump the pancakes. I think I see something. Check it out. We'll never get to him way up there. Not by climbing. But maybe we can get to him another way. We do our dignified dining with a spoon. <laughs> All dainty like. Hold the spoon like this, with pinky finger out, like it's broken in two places. Scoop soup with spoon. <laughs> If you miss your mouth and the spoon goes up your nose, discreetly turn away from the table, place your index finger next to your nose, and blow torpedoes away! We got them almost as civilised as us. And they said it couldn't be done. Who said it couldn't be done? But well, little elves what live inside me head. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like bananas. Ooh, ooh. See, that's you, Gabooboo. I am so much better than you. You are just a lowly gorilla. <laughs> I'm the king of the jungle. Hardy! <laughs> now, listen. I don't think I'm superior to my friend. We're equal. So if we let go of your beak, promise not to hoity toity me? I'm Livingston, and this is Gabooboo. Welcome to Animalia. Now, I believe you dislike those who act superior, which is why you cast your spell on Alex and Zoe. But really, it's not your job to judge our friends. Yeah, that's our job. So, we need you to undo your spell. We miss our pals. You gotta bring them back before midnight, please. How would you like to come to a party?
Happy Celebration Day! <laughs> Hope you're serving pancakes! No pancakes! <laughs> the party hasn't started yet! And hold it! I don't think that bird has an invitation. Party Crashers, come back here! Here's the most important lesson of all. The reenactment of the signing of the Bill of Rights. <gasps> These rights are rights as in communicating by writing with a pen, not rights as in opposite of lefts, understand? <gasps> we'll act the scene out, then you stinks take a whack at it. <gasps> Harry's playing your part, Alex. Livingston's ancestor, Livingston Lion the First. And Horble's playing your part, Zoe. Gaboo-boo's ancestor, Gabby Gorilla. <laughs> it is done, Gabby. I have written the Bill of Rights, the document that sets down the laws of our communication. First law, protect the core, and the core will protect you. Every animalian has agreed to sign the Bill of Rights. It will be the law of the land forever. Honoured through the ages. And celebrated by all. And seen. <sighs> Oh, that's all right, Peppers. You nap. We'll learn you the scene after. After we give it a good edit. It's too wordy with not enough action to tell a simple story. Gonna miss them when they graduate. Me too, Harry. Got the like on the little stinkers, that's what we did. They've changed me out forever. I feel like... I feel like... <clears throat> out of way, Harry. Let it out. Rumbled Rhino and the medium ice Melford and Melba. Try the fat free muffins, they look delicious. Yuck, they taste awful. Allegra Alligator. <laughs> Celebrate, communicate. The party crasher? Uh, no, no. Our guest of honor, the hoity toity toucan. Yeah! Yeah! Tyrankus Tiger, oh, what a delight to meet you. Heard such good things. Um, I'm thrilled to be in the same room with you. I'm a fan, a big, big fan. Actually, I'm a fan of everyone here. Never had a bad word to say about any of them. Enjoy the party. Welcome to Animalia. I hate to stay. I've got to run. Ta-ta. Ready, tidy. Once again, <laughs> Allegra. Celebrate, communicate. All our hearts intertwining. <laughs> Bang a line. Now what? Terry. And horrible hog. <laughs> and Alex and Zoe Stinkbug. <laughs> Do they know their lines for the reenactment? Please tell me, yes. Yes, we learned it to him good. Here they are, dignified, ain't they? Who, who hog? hog? Uh, who hog? Say who hog to our guest of honor, the hoity toity toucan. Uh, Zoe go boo boo. Oh, pardon me, your maggot tree. Zobo's midnight. Tell him to break the spell. I want my friends back. If my hunch is right, he'll break the spell, Kaboo. Be patient. I wonder where our seats was. Yeah. And now, the centerpiece of tonight's festivities, the reenactment of the signing of the Bill of Rights. <clears throat> Long, long ago, our forefathers signed the Animalian Bill of Rights. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I wrote. What you wrote stunk. We fixed it. 
Poga Poga Poga. Poga Poga Poga. Bill of Rights. Sign. Sign. The, the end. end. Disaster. Calamity. Everyone is thinking a catastrophe like this would never happen at a pancake picnic in the park. Bravo. Bravo, Iggy. The reenactment was a perfect display of how far animalians have come. Don't you see? We were all once untamed like Zoe and Alex were acting. But now, thanks to the Bill of Rights, we're civilized. Thank you for loving me, but it was Harry and Horrible who made the reenactment a success. <laughs> Hoity toity! Away goes pride! The animal within goes back in! Sorry we made fun of you. We were acting like snobs, like we were better than you, and we're not. Please forgive us. We'll never do it again. <gasps> Excellent! Are we glad to have you back? What do you mean, back? Who hugged? What happened? And how did we get here? Last thing I remember, Gov, was making fun of Harry and Horble, them feeling awful about it, and then... The Whitey toity Toucan put a spell on you. I had a hunch you'd reverse the spell once you saw the true nature of their inner animals. Mm. Mm. May I? The Bill of Rights. Oh, you want a copy? Sure. Back where I come from, we can really use this. Where do you come from? Out there. Where out there? Everywhere. Our work here is done. Heidi who hog and away! Don't you cut me off again or I'll... <laughs> you great harm! Agreed. Protect the core and the core will grow, grow and grow. Successing, and you were afraid it wouldn't measure up to my pancake picnic. I, Iggy the Iguana, am afraid of nothing. But I must confess, if I had been spared the comparisons, I'd have put less stress on myself. Well, when all said and done, everything came out equal, just like us. Ooh, what a relief! The hoity-toity toucan is gone. I can relax and be myself. Could you believe Iggy and his confounded horn playing? Tacky! Next year, when I host the celebration, I will not invite Iggy. He is so far beneath me, it is pathetic. <gasps> you get what you deserve, and what you deserve isn't pretty. Goodbye, hoity-toity cat!